Hello everyone, my name is uh, Valerio Terragni and I'm going to present our latest work on revolutionary improvement of transition oracles. This is a joint work with uh, Gunel Giandirova, Palotonella and Mauro Pizza. The test oracle problem is a problem of distinguish between correct and incorrect executions. Automating the, the test oracle problem is one of the greatest challenges in test automation and is the main bottleneck that uh, limits uh, the full detection capability of uh, test input uh, generators. Assertion oracles, also called uh, the program assertion, are executable Boolean expressions placed inside the program that uh, predicates on variable at a specific program point. Assertion oracles uh, work well in synergy with the uh, input test generators because they avoid the need to define a test oracle for each uh, generated test case. We say that uh, an assertion oracle is perfect if it returns true for all uh, the correct executions and return false for all uh, incorrect executions. Manually design or uh, automatically generate uh, the perfect assertion oracles is very difficult. And that's why they often suffer from uh, both false positives and false negatives. The first positive is uh, a correct program state in which the assertion fails but should pass, while uh, the false negative is an incorrect program state in which the assertion passes but should fail. Let's see an uh, example of false positives and false negative. This is a simple Java method uh, that returns the minimum between two numbers, x and y. The assertion mean less than x has both false positives and false negatives. An example of false positives is the program state obtained when executing this test case with x equal to 3 and y equal to 5. Since a 3 is not smaller than 3, a mean is not less than x, the assertion fails but should pass. An example of false negative is the program state obtained by executing this test case on a, a faulty version of the method. This is an incorrect program state because mean should be seven, not eight. And uh, this is a false uh, negative for the assertion because uh, uh, eight less than nine uh, is true. So the assertion passes, but uh, it should fail. In 2016, uh, Jalan Girova and colleagues proposed a technique uh, called OASIS uh, that, given uh, an assertion, it uh, automatically searches for test cases uh, representing false positives and uh, test cases and mutation that represent uh, the false negatives of the assertion. This evidence is then uh, given to a human for manually improve the assertion. However, in their recent empirical study, published at TSC in 2019, they found that for humans, it's very difficult to improve assertion oracles. And this motivated us to propose in this paper, the first technique to automatically improve assertion oracles, given evidence of false positives and false negatives. We call it our technique g -assert. Let's see in more details how our automated oracle improvement works. The input uh, is a Java program and the program point in which the session is placed. JustSert will uh, instrument the method under analysis to collect the program state at runtime. It uses AbleSuite to generate an uh, initial set of uh, test cases. Executing the test cases on the instrumented version yields to an initial set of correct states. Then it uh, executes the test on uh, a series of uh, mutations using uh, the mutation analysis tool measure, obtaining an initial set of incorrect states. These initial sets are very crucial to reduce the iterations with OASIS and let OASIS search for how to find the false positives and false negatives. Given initial assertion alpha, JustSert will uh, return an improved assertion alpha prime with zero false positives and the lowest number of false negatives. 
We want zero false positives because false alarm trigger an expensive debugging process where the bug is likely in the assertion itself. Then Jasset gives a alpha prime to Oasis that we search for new false positives and false negatives. If it uh, finds them, it will add the, the resulting prone state into our repository of correct and incorrect states. Jasset will then improve alpha prime and a new iteration will start. This uh, process continues until uh, the by shed expires or OASIS cannot find uh, new false positives and false negatives. Internally, just uh, explore the space of uh, the possible uh, assertion oracles, and it returns the one uh, that has uh, zero false positives and the lowest number of false negatives. We represent assertion as uh, rooted binary trees. The size of uh, an assertion is the number of nodes in the tree. We use uh, a 50 as the maximum size. A node uh, could be a function or a variable. We consider a numerical and Boolean uh, functions. Uh, and for uh, variables, we consider constants and both uh, primitive and non primitive uh, variable values. And we consider them at uh, both at the beginning of the method and also at the assertion point. For non uh, the primitive variables, we use uh, object specialization and uh, observer methods uh, to obtain uh, the primitive values for, uh, from non uh, the primitive uh, uh, values. And uh, for uh, the collections, arrays, and strings, we use uh, helper functions like uh, is empty or size. With a uh, 50 as the maximum size of uh, an assertion, the search space is very huge. There are 10 power of 27 possible trees. And for each of uh, these trees, there are the myriad uh, of possible uh, assignments to functions and variables. For uh, this reason, a random or a systematic exploration of the search space would not be effective or feasible. For uh, this reason, JustSearch adopts a search space approach using a genetic programming formulating the problem as a multi-objective optimization problem with three competing objectives. First, reduce the number of false positives, false negative, and size. That's because uh, assertion with a small size are easier to understand and maintain. Remember that our goal is unbalanced towards having zero false positives. For uh, this reason, classic uh, algorithms like uh, NSGAQ would not be effective in our case because they favor a solution. They have a good uh, trade-off uh, uh, among all three objectives. So we define uh, the fitness function given a priority to false positives, then uh, a false negative, then a size. We define the concept of uh, FP dominance as follows. We say that alpha one dominates alpha two if alpha one has less false positives than alpha two, or they, ha they have the same number of false positives, but alpha one uh, has uh, a fewer false negatives or that they have the same number of false positives and false negatives, but alpha one is more. We use a genetic program to evolve the population of assertion using FP dominance as the fitness function. However, because reducing the false negative is only the secondary objective, there might not be enough evolutionary pressure to, to reduce also the false negatives. For a, for this reason, we propose a co-evolutionary approach that evolves in parallel two populations, one using FP dominance and the other one using FN dominance as a fitness function, which uh, uses false and negative as the primary objective. Periodically, the population will exchange the best individuals so that both population can have good uh, a genetic uh, material for uh, reducing the secondary objective. Let's see how JustSet works internally. So given the initial 
assertion alpha, it uh, generates uh, an initial population with a half population with uh, the mutations of alpha to have good uh, genetic uh, material for evolution. And the uh, other half with the uh, random assertions to introduce uh, diversity. Let's see how uh, JASET evolves uh, the population at generation n. JASET first uh, computes a uh, prediction assertion in the population, the number of uh, the false positives, the false negative, and, and, and the size. It needs uh, this information to compute uh, the fitness function. Then uh, it performs uh, the classical uh, evolutionary algorithm that works uh, in three steps, okay. parent selection, crossover, and mutation. Just uh, repeats uh, these uh, three steps uh, until the population at generation n plus one is full. So let's see how these uh, three steps works. So uh, we use uh, a tournament uh, selection with the uh, size q, which uh, randomly pick two assertion, alpha one and alpha two. The fitter one is the winner of the tournament and is uh, selected as the first uh, parent. And uh, it does the same another time to select the second parent. Besides uh, the tournament uh, selection, Jasset uses another parent uh, selection criterion that we presented in this uh, paper, and it, it is specific to the Oracle improvement program. We call it best match selection. It chooses the first uh, parent uh, randomly, then uh, for the second parent, uh, it chooses uh, with a weighted random uh, selection using as weight uh, the number of false positives that are not uh, covered by the first uh, parent. If we are evolving the population with the uh, Fn dominance, we consider the false negatives in, instead. For uh, the crossover, we use uh, the canonical one, uh, the picks uh, an order in each uh, parent. And so, and substitutes uh, the resulting subtrees. We also uh, present a new crossover that uh, merges the two parents uh, with an end and O. This uh, crossover works well in synergy with the best max selection because it combines the parents without uh, disrupting their uh, semantics. For the mutation, we use the classic node uh, and subtree mutation. To select uh, the nodes for the crossover and mutation, we use uh, random uh, selection and uh, the mutation-based selection that uh, favors uh, nodes uh, having children that uh, predicates on variables that we know differ among the correct and incorrect states. So we evaluated just uh, with three research questions. Is just uh, effective at improving assertion oracles? How does just it compare with random and uh, invariant based oracle improvement? And how just it compares with human oracle improvement? We consider 34 uh, Java methods for our experiments. Four from the recent uh, uh, oracle improvement uh, study by Johan Girova and colleagues, 10 from uh, Daikon's uh, subjects, which is the most uh, popular variant uh, generator for Java. And then we took uh, 20 from four uh, popular open source Java libraries, Apache Commons Math, Apache Commons Lamp, Google Guava, and JTS. For each uh, subject, we performed the following evaluation setup. First, we collect the initial test cases and mutation with the uh, ever suite and measure. Then we gave the initial Test cases to Daikon that produce the initial assertion alpha. For 11 subjects, Daikon failed to find an invariant that generalizes well for all the testing input. And in these cases, we use assert a true as the initial assertion. 
which has uh, zero false positives, but will not kill uh, any mutant. Then uh, we perform the Oracle improvement uh, process with a time budget of 90 minutes, and uh, we run the process 10 times uh, to cope uh, with the stochastic uh, nature of uh, GP. Then we evaluate the initial assertion and also the improved assertion in terms of uh, false positives, false negative, and size. And we use the initial sets uh, of mutations and tests. If the assertion has a, a false positive, so to have a meaningful uh, a comparison with the JASR that returns uh, assertion with zero false positives, then uh, we, we reduce the assertion until uh, it has a zero false positives. Then uh, we count it for the first negative N size. Then we obtain a validation set of uh, test cases and mutations, and we use uh, Randup and PIT. And uh, that's why we want to see how well the initial and improved uh, assertion uh, perform with unseen uh, test cases and, uh, and mutations. Unfortunately, PIT uh, does not output the source code of the mutation, so we cannot count the number of false negative. But we, we can give only the mutation score. Then uh, we compare just with a random uh, variant that uh, explores a search space uh, randomly without any guidance by the fitness functions and without any guidance about the number of false positives and false negatives. Then as an additional baseline, uh, we consider an uh, invariant based approach to improve uh, our course uh, based on the Invariant generator DICON. DICON does not uh, take any input to the incorrect uh, states and uh, it does not uh, aim uh, to improve uh, Oracle assertions. However, we can use the feedback of uh, OASIS to add new uh, test cases to DICON so that DICON can try to generate a new uh, invariant with uh, this uh, large set of test cases. This graph shows the results of RQ1 and RQ2 for the initial set of correct and incorrect states. Each point represents the results of each a subject and the technique. The x-axis is the number of false and negatives of the initial assertion on the initial set of correct and incorrect states. On the y-axis is uh, the same, but for the improved assertion, and we show the median results. If a point is on the, the, the diagonal, it means that the number of false uh, and, and negatives uh, did not uh, improve. It is the same uh, uh, between the improved and the uh, initial one. If a point is below the, the diagonal, it means that the false uh, negative were reduced. You can see that uh, JASSERT is effective in improving assertions and it uh, often outperforms both for baseline. This graph shows the improvement of uh, the mutation score with respect to the validation set. In this case, uh, above the, the diagonal means that the mutation score increased after the Oracle improvement. Also in this case, just outperforms both random and uh, invariant-based uh, or improvement. For uh, our uh, Q3, we took uh, the empirical data of the Johan Girova study of human improved assertions, which uh, uh, it contains uh, human or improvement by 29 uh, developers 74 uh, workers from uh, Amazon uh, Mechanical Talk. We ran uh, a JASR with the same uh, initial assertions used in the experiments, and uh, we compare the false positives and mutation score with respect to the validation set. The median results are almost identical, and uh, the last uh, column sh shows the number of uh, at times in which JASSET outperforms uh, the human uh, improved assertions. To conclude, uh, the Oracle problem is the main uh, challenge of test automation. In this paper, 
we present a just search, the first technique to automatically improve uh, our call assertions. Just search implements, implements a co-evolutionary algorithm that evolves two populations of assertions to reduce both false positives and false negatives. Our results show that uh, a just search is a, a effective at improving the assertion and it uh, outperforms uh, both uh, random based uh, oracle improvement and uh, invariant based uh, oracle improvement. So if you are interested about the um, artifacts, you can find them at uh, this link. Thank you.